All right, tribe. So, whew, how'd it go today? Pretty awesome, right? What day is it? Eight, nine, yeah, it's day 10. And uh, I'm on the rooftop of the Four Seasons. Vancouver, it's actually the fourth floor. But they have a poolside area. And today, along with three other trainers, I got the opportunity, whoop, see? <laughs> I got the opportunity to uh, lead a great workout. And uh, it was a ton of fun. And uh, yeah, so I thought, what the heck? I'm gonna film this little video message to you guys right now from the rooftop. So, that's that. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I saw some messages come through, but people talking about uh, mindfulness, but mo not so much the mindfulness as it is just being okay when you have down days. And uh, I think we all know that that's just the nature of it. We can't be up all the time. We're gonna have days where we're not feeling as energetic as we normally are, where we feel a little bit tired. I, I gotta tell you the truth, straight up. On the weekend, I had one of those days. I was low. And I had to remind myself that, you know, it's okay. <laughs> but what do you do when you need to recharge or reset, reboot, recalibrate, re-energize yourself? I want you to listen to your body. And when you have those moments where you feel like you just can't seem to get yourself motivated to move for those 15 minutes or to get out for the run or to go for the hike, don't. Don't stress about it. Don't even dwell on it. Take a day for yourself. Chill. Go for a walk. Listen to some good tunes. Get around some family. Play a board game with the kids. Maybe go see a movie. Binge on your favorite Netflix series. Seriously, just go do it. Will you try that? I expect you to. So, and on that note, I expect you to also leave a comment in the group. Share some ideas of what you do when you need, have those moments when you're low and you want to pick yourself up again. And this is the workout. This is always the part you're waiting for. Uh, I'm inspired by some of the trainers I got to coach alongside today up here at the Four Seasons uh, with RYU Apparel. I don't know, did you guys see that video actually that came out today? Pretty sweet, huh? If you didn't, I'm gonna share the link again. Make sure you watch it. It's, it's, I'm pretty proud of it and I'm really excited that it came out. It uh, captures a lot of the Whole Life Fitness Manifesto philosophy and some of the interviews I've done with RYU and they really helped me get the message out there. So it's a, it's a great partner brand of mine. And uh, if you watch the video uh, it's, uh, and share it, I, I appreciate it, I know they appreciate it, and it helps get my message out there a bit further. The workout for you guys today, should you choose to accept it. You're gonna do 30 seconds of squats, followed by 30 seconds of planks, 15 rounds. Boom, spicy, right? I know it is, it's super spicy. And uh, <laughs> you're probably not gonna enjoy it. No, you are gonna enjoy it. It's gonna be a test, a test of will. And for those that find squats really challenging or if your legs are really sore, I want you to challenge yourself to try to just do a wall sit. Hey, who's that? Who that? <laughs> come say hi. Oh, can you get me one of those cookies? They're so good. I want one of those. I, mm, I, I'm taking too long. The makes really good cookies. Okay. Um, sorry, guys. It's so rude for me to be talking with my mouth full. <laughs> Thanks, Christy. Um, yeah. 30 seconds of wall sit. Or 30 seconds of squats. Followed by 30 seconds of planking. Which is your active rest. 15 rounds. Now, this is super, super spicy. I have faith that you can do it. So, enjoy. See you guys later. And tomorrow's video. <laughs> My mouth is full. I'm so rude. All right, bye guys. We give people hope. Yeah, no doubt. Hi. These are uh, raw, unedited videos. So, raw and real, baby. Okay, guys, see you later.